Hi friends, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Sorry about yesterday. Couldn't do the show as um, our art journal Monday because I was away for the weekend with the family, which was lovely. Um, hope you can join me this evening at 6 p.m. I will be launching the brand new, oh, I'm so excited, um, Crafty Print. Now, seriously, this is an amazing deal. Now, I'm going to link already and tell you what you get for an amazing price. So, I think it's about £25, something like that. You get 50 downloads, but also you get 50 prints off the downloads. It's going to be amazing. Hope you can join me. It's going to be really, really great fun. I've got some absolute amazing demos planned, and it's going to be really good fun. But today... Right now, we are doing Art Journal Monday, and I know that it's Tuesday, but we are going to be doing it anyway. So, the theme this week was going to be silver and grey. Now, I've done a bit of prep already on my journal, um, just because otherwise it wouldn't be dry in time for me to do my layers. So, I've already done silver and grey acrylic paint over the top. Now I'm going to show you the technique of how we do this. Hi Tracy, yes glass and free was amazing, absolutely loved it. Really really felt really connected and it was just so lovely to spend time with the family and just not be at home for a little while. It was a little bit scary obviously with the whole Covid situation but we were super vigilant and um, yeah it was great. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly show you how I've done this technique on my pages to get this far as my base. Now you can see that it's quite um, rough painting, but there is a technique of how to achieve this. So I will show you now on a scrap piece of paper. The two um, beautiful um, paints that I am using is Liquid Buffet in silver. Let me turn that around, there we go. Liquid Buffet in silver by Pimple. I'm also using Pearl White by Stance By Me. Both the consistencies are really good to work with and we will be using a flat wide brush and a spatula. So obviously you need to do that prep in, um, you know, in time before to allow it to dry. So I'm just going to turn you around on a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Now this is scrap so ignore the yellow. So I'm just going to add a bit of this beautiful pearly white. Now when you add it on with the spatula, what you're doing is you are flicking it away. Can you see that? You're pushing it away. So as you build up the colour, you can make it as transparent or as thick as you like. And you can leave the lines that come with that as well. So I'm just going to wipe my excess off there. And then we are going to go to the liquid bucket. Now look how gorgeous this is. Now I always keep my lids on. I know they get mucky, but it's just, look at that. Wonderful. And you can go straight over the top. Can you see that? How you put it on with the edge of the palette. Oh, it's like a spatula really, isn't it? It just reminds me of a palette knife, that's why. So now I'm taking a dry brush. And you can just work them colours together. Okay, so that is your base of your journal pages of this. Okay, so once you've done that and you've allowed that to dry on your journal pages, then we can move on to the decoration. Now, try and make it as grainy as you can because what that does is it just really, really makes it, just gives it a lot of texture and makes it feel really lovely. Again, because of our book is getting very, very full now, what we need to do is we need to start stamping it like this, okay? So we're still going to get our flat level, but enough to be able to stamp and also enough to be able to get a good print. So I'm going to add a little bit of wet glue now. And all I'm doing is I'm taking some script. This is a script scrapbooking page that I'm using. Um, I do believe... This is Chandelier, isn't it? This is Chandelier by um, Boulevard. Beautiful, beautiful script paper. And I'm just going to take this left side all the way down to the bottom. Just measure a little bit of wet glue. Now it's up to you how you apply your wet glue. 
Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use an applicator or do pens. So I'm just going to add that layer straight down there. Now that excess bit that we just took off, I'm going to use that. But I'm going to pop it this side, but just coming in from the side. Can you see? Very, very easy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've got some absolutely corker of a paper here. This is a download that's available from Cut of Lace. And I'm just going to apply that just to that one side again. Really, really easy. So I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend. I'm so looking forward to the Crushy Print Show today. It's going to be amazing. I've been making beautiful projects with it. And I love the fact that as soon as you get it home, well, as soon as you purchase, shall we say, I'm just adding another little piece of that lace style paper. As soon as you um, purchase it, within sort of 24 hours, you will get your download so you can start printing at home straight away. And then, of course, give it a few more days and you will actually have the hard copies in the post as well. Amazing angel policy with that as well. But I'll explain more on the show later. Next, I've got some vellum. Again, this is tattered lace. And I'm just going to tear it towards me to get that beautiful white side. Really, really simple. So this is how you can start building up your layers. Now with vellum, obviously you do have to be careful because you can see the glue if you don't use, um, you know, particularly vellum glue. But what I do is I use book binding glue, but I put it on very, very thinly. This makes it so much easier. And also I just do top and bottom, okay? So this side, I'm just gonna add a little tad of vellum just on the bottom there. Again, just ripping. And I hope you've really enjoyed the whole art journal journey. Um, from next month as well, I'm going to be doing Imala live specials as well. So look out for that. That starts in August. And I'm hoping to get up to Tony Derrick's shop as well. Uh, the middle of August. Now I'm just picking up some of these edges and giving them a little scrunch. Just to keep it some layering. Okay, so next I'm going to do some stamping, but I'm going to do some a little bit different this time. I've got a really wobbly table today. I just don't know what's going on. But there we go. So I'm going to grab my Eureka and I just want to stamp this side first of all. So I'm just going to lift this up, pop my um, stamping in there. Now you do have to stamp off of the side. The reason why is because I've actually got a uh, spine in this, so it's not particularly amazing to stamp right up to the spine, especially when you're doing it in these two halves. The stamp that I am using now is one of my very own. This is The Books, um, absolutely beautiful from Amala. Just have a look online if you haven't heard of us before. We are a unique stamping company. Very, very different, very quirky. Just so me, really. So I'm just adding some black ink over the top now. Really simple with these books. I'm using Nouveau Hybrid, but you can use whatever you prefer. A little bit of fingertip dancing. Now, don't worry if your first stamp never comes out 100%. Because of that, what you can do is you can always go back. That's the beauty of using the Eureka, is that we can go back add more ink so we are stamping over all of the layers that we have here over the vellum over the paper onto the acrylic that we've got underneath as well Let's have a look. Oh, that's better. Okay. so now already we can start seeing what we're doing I'm going to grab a little wet brush into a tad of black, white, and a little bit of um, silver in there as well. And I'm just gonna highlight some of these books just to get perception in there, okay? And also you can just exaggerate that color out. Beautiful. 
Then I'm going to take a couple of my favourite stamps that I use. This is a script stamp. Now I'm not even going to use a um, acrylic. I'm just going to go straight on. And I'm using white ink now. Now this is purely additional detail. So I'm going over the top. See I don't want it crisp. I more or less want it just shabby if you like. Just on the top. Just to show that detail. And you can be quite random with it as well. So now I'm just going to pick up my music stamp. Again, now I'm going in with black. Just make sure your music is the right way up. That does help, doesn't it? Yes, Carly, it does. And I'm just overlaying it over the top. Very simple. Now I'm going to move over to this side now. Let that dry a little bit and we'll come back to that left side in just a second. So now I'm going straight back in with my music on the black. And as you can see, I'm not putting complete ink everywhere. I'm just sort of just putting it where it touches. Music can be a bit difficult sometimes to read it to make sure it's the right way. Lovely. And I'm just going to grab that script again in the white. Just random. You can go straight over the top again. Beautiful. Right, next I'm going to take my black Himmy crayon. Add a little bit of detail around the edge and then just warm it up with your finger. Just to get that effect. I'm going to it down here now. It's a little tad, it's like an accent. So it draws your attention straight to the middle of the pages. So now I'm going to go back to the opposing side. Here we go. Again, just use it on its very edge. You're just sort of touching it, but you're not. And see how it can really grab on the edges of that. Gorgeous acrylic layers that we have. Can you see that? It just really grabs beautiful. I'm just going around. Okay. Now, also what I'm going to do is I've already created a little frame. This is super simple. These are just like um, air drying clay frames and then you can just paint them. So again, I have painted it with the uh, buffet. So now I'm just going to add a little tad of red blue to this, just on the reverse. And I'll go just there. Then I've taken a, um, this is from the journal collection, my journey begins from a tonic. I'm going to be using that. silver mirror accent and I'm going to actually glue it over the whole top. Okay, so I'm just going to press that down. Just take a little minute to that deal. It won't take too long. And then I've actually cut out some beautiful little grey Oh, so I'm just going to stick here and there. Now I'm going to go back and do some more detail on that in just a second. I've got three more hearts that I'm also going to add. So I'm going to add one there. One there. One there. See how it just all flows. 
Let me get my back legs first. Right, next I've got a brush grip Nuvo grey pen. What this does is a fine liner and it just gives you a lot more definition and detail to certain areas of your project. So now I'm going to come into my heart and I'm just lightly going around the edges. Not too much, just to separate it from the back, like so, going to rotate round, and I'll just add on that little bit of detail, and it's very light, but it just separates it from the background. And you can build it up as much or as less as you like. Yeah. Let's have a look how we're doing. Oh yeah, this is looking good. I'm happy with this. So now I'm just going back, making sure I've got all of those areas that I want to. I'm also just going to add a little bit of black himmy to my... Um, uh, matte and then I'm adding a little bit of water to it and then I'm just going to do some finger adding detail can you see that you just go over the top a little bit of black not too much and what this will do is it will break down some of the detail and then fill the colour a little bit at the top, like so. We'll come back to this side now. We'll just a bit more on the detail. There we go. I can just grab the edges and it just pick up beautifully on there as well. So a tiny tad. Add a little bit more water to that. There we go. Right. I've also got a little bit of a gossip. Uh, this is a black that I'm using here, but I'm just on this one heart here. I'm just gonna really set it out from the others. So one back right there. Then I'm gonna go in the middle heart. Just to pull that colour together. See how simple it is, it really, really is. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more grey paint now. how you can just blend that colour away. A little bit more this side. Just until I'm happy with that detail. There we go! How quick was that? Let's have a look. How is everyone? How are you doing? Are you okay? So, love how it all comes together. I know Helen, don't you? I do too. So there we go. This is silver and grey art journal page. Super simple, super quick, and that's rainbow silver now that I've got on there as well. So that's why it looks so lovely and spangly. But just look at the detail if I bring it close. Can you see the layers that you can achieve? Really, really easy. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today on Art Journal Tuesday, even though it should be on Monday, it's very confusing. And um, don't forget to tune in tonight for the world brand new launch at Creating Craft TV. Oh, hiya Jackie, you're right, sweetheart. Um, at Creating Craft TV, 
please join me for cross you print it's gonna be an absolutely cracking show i do believe it's me and dan we're gonna have fun we're gonna be creative honestly can you believe the deal if you want to shop ahead feel free, go and have a look online. But the actual beautiful papers and files you will be receiving for an amazing deal, honestly. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It's like under 30 pound. And you are getting 50 physical printed sheets of um, beautiful projects that will take you throughout the whole year. Every occasion is in there. And then while you are at home printing them out, Within seven days, you're going to actually get the fabulous um, printouts. So please join me at 6 p.m. this evening. I look forward to seeing you. Take care, my friends, and I will see you on Wednesday for maybe another Facebook Live. Maybe. Take care. I'll see you all soon. Bye.